commandments. And what they did is they started worshiping other gods. And God sent them warning after warning because God loves his people. They're on God's family tree, the Israelites. And God said, please stop worshiping, worshiping other gods. If not, you're going to be sent away to captivity. But they would not listen. And so what happened, remember the Ark of the Covenant was taken. And it's a mystery today to where it's at. A mystery? And they were taken, the people were captured and taken to a bad city called Babylon. And there was a bad king there named King Nebuchadnezzar. And remember we learned how he captured all of the Israeli boys? But there was four boys, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that would not eat the junk food. And they got ten times smarter than all of the other people. And so King Nebuchadnezzar put him in charge of all the wise men. Well, we're going to pick up our story and find out what happened to these four boys. So, Daniel had been put in charge of everybody, and he was made the governor of a province. But Daniel was sent away on business. Well, while he was away, King Nebuchadnezzar said, I'm a wonderful king. I'm amazing. Look at my land. I'm in charge of. I'm going to make myself a gold statue. And it's going to look like me, and it's going to be 60 feet tall, and I'm going to have everybody worship it. So that's what he did. So he ordered a decree that said everybody in the land was worship my statue. And when the music plays, everybody must bow down and worship the statue. Uh-oh. What does the Ten Commandments say? Number one, put God first. Number two, worship God only. We're only supposed to worship the God of Israel. And so guess what? He says, people are going to get some musical instruments. And when you hear the musical instruments, bow down. And so guess what happens? All right. So Miss Kenzie and Miss Judy, let's go. Okay. So the king said, we're having a big party. A big party. When the music plays, everybody bow down. And so, the big party came, and the musical instruments played. Play your instruments. And everybody bowed down and looked at the gold statue. But guess what? There was three boys that said, I will not do that. And so, I'm going to have my three boys come out. Um, David, Luca. Go ahead. All right, David, Luca, and um, Kason. All right. So, when the musical instruments played, Ruby, everybody bowed down, but the three boys did not bow down. So, then, the king's soldiers came and told on them, they tattled down, and said, King, King Nebuchadnezzar, when the music plays, Everybody's bowing down to the gold statue, your amazing picture. But not these three Israeli boys. And the king burned with anger. He said, what? These three Israeli boys will not bow to my golden statue? He went up to him and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is it true? When the music plays, you do not bow down to my gold statue? And they said, no, we will not bow down. We only worship the God of Israel. They believe in the first Ten Commandments. We worship God only, and we only worship the God of Israel. They said, he said, well, if you don't bow down when the music plays, you're going to go into a big fiery furnace, a uh -oh. big fireplace. And he goes, you get one more chance. When the music played, Ruby, Ruby. Oh. what? You're not bowing down. And so they said, we will not do it. He goes, that's it. You're going to go in the fiery furnace. Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we will not bow down to anybody but the God of Israel. And he said, our God will save us. But guess what? This is what they said. Even if he doesn't save us, we will still not bow down. 
So they trusted God, but they knew they would not bow down, even if they burned up in the fire furnace. And the king got so angry, and he said, bind them up. And so he put ropes around them, and he had the soldiers take them to the big fiery pit. And guess what? He said, I want it not just hot, I want it seven times hotter. And the fires were big, and it was seven times hotter. Well, when the soldiers went near it, the soldiers burned up. It was so hot. Well, they just threw them into the fiery furnace, and all of a sudden, King Nebuchadnezzar is looking, and he sees them in the fire, but he sees a fourth person in the fire. <gasps> and let's see, let's have Kalia. So Kalia. Now, Nebuchadnezzar looks in there, and he sees somebody that's golden and shining. It looks like an angel. And Nebuchadnezzar goes, Hey, soldiers, didn't we tie them up? And the soldiers say, yeah? Well, why are they walking around having a conversation? And I see four people in there. Didn't we only sell three? And the soldier goes, yes. And he goes, and that fourth person, he's glowing like an angel. Who is it? And so guess what? The bad king says, guys, not me, just look at me to go. What are you doing in there? I see four of you. Come on out. And so guess what? The four boys came out of the fire. The angel that was in there wasn't an angel. It was Jesus. Oh. And Jesus disappeared. And the three boys, Nebuchadnezzar, he said, what's up? You don't smell like smoke. He said, you don't look like you've been burned. You are perfectly fine. And guess what? The God of Israel, their God, Jesus showed up in the fire and he protected them and they did not burn up. And Nebuchadnezzar said, oh, I was wrong. I should not have made that statue. He said, from now on, I'm gonna make a new law that we must only worship the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the God of Israel. And he made a new law that day that they would only worship the one true God. Thank you.